That's it. There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet the one true love, their soulmate, someone that knows and loves them for the rest of their life. Some of you in this audience have already met that special someone. But that moment came from my friend Gary, where he met me. Not much of a speaker. I really don't talk much at all. Gary knows this. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I remember when Gary asked me to be his best man. This man sent me a message on Facebook on a Tuesday night. Yo, Flu, want to be my best man? <laughs> Immediately, I regretted opening that message to him. But since I saw that he saw that I read it, here we are. I'm just kidding, I'm full of pride being here today. Alongside my friend, I consider my brother. I have known him since I was in high school. But back in high school, honestly, I never liked Gary. He, was a <laughs> he used to always get into random arguments and fights with people in the class. And I wasn't with that BS, so I stayed away from him. <laughs> we first started becoming friends when I was at a library near his house working on a school project. He came up to me and asked, hey, did you go to Hammond High School? And I was like, yeah. And that's how we became friends. We did everything together. Worked out, went to the mall, movies. You see, my boy Gary always has a plan. And if you know Gary, you know sometimes his plan is kind of sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> he always has a sketchy plan. It doesn't work for the most part. One of my favorite memories with him is one group of kids. We used to sneak into a gym called Lifetime Fitness. <laughs> and for those of, who don't know that gym, it's way overpriced, but Gary, he had a plan. <laughs> he had a fake path that he used for us to go to the gym over and over again. Until one day we got caught, kicked out, and banned from coming back. Like <laughs> but no big deal, Gary just found a different gym at our apartment. Remember <laughs> that one we got kicked out too? <laughs> when Gary came back from basic training, he kept talking about the army and how cool it was. He would shut up. He got mad and annoying. For those who remember him when he first came out of boot camp, I was like, yeah, that's cool and all, Gary, but I would never join the army. It's not me. It's not something I would ever do. Little did I know, because of this guy pushing me and talking to me, I signed six years of my life away into the army. <laughs> And I know for worse, I guess I should thank him for thinking about that. <laughs> Fast forward to 2011, we both got our deployment orders. I was going to Iraq, and this guy was going to Afghanistan. I'm not going to lie, all this caught me off guard. Because according to Gary, he was like, nah, don't worry, fool. You ain't going to deploy to war. You get money for school and a sweet enlistment bonus. Easy money, fool. Trust me, this house. Easy money, he said. <laughs> you know, the universe is pretty funny. I remember being on deployment. I was in Kuwait for one day. But the one day I was there, this guy was there. So you know how to look him up. I remember running up to him and finding him in that tent in the desert and giving him the biggest hug ever. Because it's been so long since I've seen my best friend. But after I hugged him, I wanted to fight him because it was all his fault. I was <laughs> But coming back home, we both picked up where we left off, always together, almost inseparable. I remember going to the mall, wearing our army uniforms just to impress girls. <laughs> we did a lot of unnecessary things in our army uniforms to impress girls. Hell yes! He knows. But looking back at it now, I don't regret a single moment hanging out with my best friend. This man here would show up randomly at my house uninvited and unannounced to drag me to a party I didn't want to go to. That's how you know he's your best friend. He could just show up at your house like that. But, like I said, those memories will stay with me forever. Jessamine. Oh, Jessamine. <laughs> I want you to know that Gary's one of my most loyal, honest, caring, and protective friends. I know sometimes he can be too caring and too protective, but trust me, that's just how he is. He's a genuine friend and he'd be the greatest husband too, I have no doubt. He's always there for you when you need him. He goes all in for the people that he loves.
Brothers. He's always there for me and always looked out for me since we were kids. So thank you, bro. I needed that growing up. Jessalyn, Gary, I do love to see you two today this happy and this beautiful. Don't they look beautiful together? Yeah! I do imagine everybody will more perfect for my brother Gary. And since Gary was always been like a brother to me, welcome to the family, Jessalyn, because you're my sister now. To the bride and groom, I love you both. May your life together be as perfect as ever. And I wish you the best possible to come. I love you both. To Jessalyn, to Gary. Yeah.